kitchen with Stacy. Ladies, over to you. Yes, I have, Mark. And last hour we talked about great ways to use pumpkin to keep your face and your skin looking good. Now we get to eat it, right, Stacey? Yes, we're going to put it into our mouths. Yes, this morning on EcoWise we're talking about a vegan-friendly pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, which is... Yes. Which is great for this time of year, so let's In get started. In case you have vegetarians coming to your Thanksgiving holiday table, mm -hmm. um, let's talk about what makes a vegan pumpkin pie vegan. No animal byproducts. So we have to substitute our butter, our milk. We're not allowed to use work this. Or our eggs. Vegetarian eggs and vegan are two totally, two totally different, different things. things. So don't kind of the same, them. but Vegans are nuts. a lot more strict. So yes. in place of our butter, our eggs... Uh, and our milk, we're going to either swap it out with one of two things. You can do this two ways. I've included both recipes. You can use tofu, which most vegans do. However, if you have um, many more um, people who do not are not used to eating tofu products, I, I don't recommend this way. <laughs> okay. Uh, tofu a can little be different, scary. A little yes. strange. Um, so you can use the recipe we're using today has soy milk in it. You can also use almond milk, which has some great flavor. Which in is it. a big thing in our household because my honey bunny cannot drink milk. So this is great in a lot of recipes. Just yeah. cereal, it's wonderful. It's, it's so I can recommend that. It's wonderful stuff. If you are using a soy milk or an almond milk, you need to use corn cornstarch as your binder. Okay. okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is, again, I went to Aldi's this weekend. They have a lot of great products. You can yes, do two do. pies for under $10. Yes, okay? they do have good products. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two cups of pumpkin, All right. and we're just going to put the pumpkin right into the bowl. I'm going to have you throw that in there. All this is, now you can do this individually. You can do your cinnamon, your cinnamon. allspice, your nutmeg, and your clove individually, or that was just a pumpkin pie spice blend that has everything in there. Okay. And then this is going to be um, uh, two tablespoons of your molasses is going to mm. go in there. Wonderful. And then that's your milk. The soy milk. Right? And okay. then your cornstarch is going to go in there again as your binder. So You're the vanilla flavored one, some of these soy milks come in different flavors. I it's okay use, to use them, Yeah, right? I use the vanilla because I like the it's flavor good. that's in it. And then it you don't have too. to worry about putting your vanilla. Now, I didn't bring my handy-dandy mixer. That's okay. Um, so what you're going to do, though, you're going to want to blend this. You're going to want to blend it, it with a really blender. Good. In addition to that, if you want, this is just my little twist on the recipe. You can't find this at Aldi's, but you can find this in your grocery store. It's an organic vanilla um, pie pudding uh, filler. And that box can go right into the bowl. If you're using... If you're only making one pie, you're going to use half the package. If you're making two pies, you can just throw that whole box in there. Okay, so through the magic of television. Through the magic of television. Food. Now, your pie crust, again, a vegan pie crust, the only thing that's going to be different is you're not going to use butter. So you can look for a prepackaged pie crust that's already made. Just look for one that is made with a vegetable shortening instead of a butter. Okay. This, again, you can find at Aldi's. All it is is whole wheat flour, vegetable shortening, water, and salt. I know there's or one in Austin make Town. Them. I know there's one in Boardman. Under $3. I go there all the time. And ta-da, this is what it comes out with. All now, right, let's give it a try. You, you can try it. I, I do want to say, with this kind of pie, you're going to want to bake it for um, about 30 to 40 minutes. You're going to want to put foil around the crust so that the crust doesn't burn. Then you're going to want to take it off, and you're going to want to bake it another 15 to 20 minutes. And then you're going to let it set overnight. You're going to want to give this puppy about a day to set up. I wasn't really listening to anything you said because it's really good. Is it, yeah, it really is. It's so really very really good. Really, you're not missing a whole lot no, of you're anything. Not. Mm -mm. And um, again, because time constraints, I did put a vegetarian, not a vegan, but a vegetarian stuffing mix that is really great. It can accompany anyone at Thanksgiving. Anyone's going to be happy with this. And I, you can um, even serve them. I put them in little muffin cups. That's a great idea. So that you can pop them right on the plate. Wonderful and I idea. And include that recipe on And WF the kids will love that, com. too, because it looks like little cupcakes. Yeah, they do. And it's really super easy to this eat. great. And it stays away from the turkey by putting it in the muffin cups in case you do have those um, so special guests separate. coming over. Very, very mm -hmm. good. WFMJ. You'll find all of these recipes already there.